Hello, this is Prashant Elang from Trans Pacific Software, and uh, um, this video is about the uh, overview of the uh, jewelry and diamond e-commerce website powered by Magento. Uh, we have put up a, a, a full feature demo over here, and I will quickly take you through the various features available in this particular demo. Uh, so, the here is the website, and we have uh, developed it on Magento 1.9. We haven't used Magento 2.0 as we feel that the Magento 2.0 entire ecosystem is not yet developed and yet the bugs are not been fixed. So, so we felt like um, uh, 1.9 is the most appropriate platform to put it up. So this particular website, uh, there's a, a dummy name, Natural Diamond Company, and it has five five uh, sections. One is the engagement ring section loose diamond purchase section, ready jewelry section and wedding rings and here is the e-commerce section. I will quickly take you through all these sections. Uh, engagement ring section. Now here there are two channels to make the engagement ring. One is to start with the diamond over here and you can first select a diamond followed by uh, the selection of the engagement ring and um, the checkout process. Second is the search engagement ring. First select the engagement ring and then pick up a suitable diamond and proceed for the checkout. So let's try one of these. Uh, so start with diamond. Okay, here the first interface is of the diamond. Um, this diamond grid is populated um, through, through the data uh, available in the database or it can directly pick up from web services such as provided by the RAPNET uh, RAPNET instant inventory services and here are the filters these are the basic filters I mean if required the advanced filters uh, can also be introduced and these are the shapes uh, shape filtering uh, note here the infinite scroll over here so uh, you know the grid will start keep populating as the scroll goes down uh, here one of the it's, it's filtering out and um, let's get into details of one of the diamonds view details okay here are the full details of the diamond all the data is pulled out from the database um, select this diamond suppose we pick up this pick this diamond and we proceed further. Note here the color changes in the in the steps. So now we are on the choose your setting. Whichever diamond is selected is put over here. Uh, there is a view details and change. If, if the user wants to change this diamond, uh, she can do that through this button. Um, now here the 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 filtration is available for selecting various materials, various styles and price. Uh, let's select one of these. Okay, uh, here are the details of the ring. If you uh, don't approve of this ring, you go back in the search results. All the search criteria during initial uh, search will be preserved. Let's pick up some other engagement ring okay this one now I changed the I like the design but if I don't know if I want to change the metal I can change the metal now I've changed it to 18k white gold and note the image has refreshed uh, for demo purposes now all the images are similar so this is it um, choose this setting so I have selected a diamond followed by a uh, setting and here we go. This is the final preview of the ring. You will get the full ring details with the pricing. Uh, the pricing breakup is also available over there. Ring setting, loose diamond and uh, select a ring size and this is a consolidated information about uh, the product, this bundle product. Uh, you add to the cart. And this will take you to the uh, checkout process. Uh, let's check the 
so here i mean in this demo i mean this particular diamond is already sold off so this is this is giving a, a warning over here this is sold off so one has to go into change diamond and select another diamond from here uh, rest all the steps will be automatically preserved so through session handling the session has preserved the what setting uh, initial what setting was selected so this is a whole uh, well tested well well uh, organized system easy for users uh, and then let's go on to the second section these are the loose loose diamond purchase section where you can just purchase a single diamond the third section is jewelry uh, where in the ready made jewelries are available for purchase the wedding ring section it's a uh, very similar to jewelry but it's a separate category we have put over here you can put any categories over here uh, any uh, like special products or whichever uh, different category you would like to have in the the jewelry you can have it this is the education section basically this section has uh, has two benefits one is that uh, of course it gives uh, some education material to the uh, user like um, how to identify the quality of the diamond uh, the different ring sizes available so on and so forth also it enhances the seo search in optimization where in the google or bing search engines i mean they find the good content available for uh, uh, within the website i mean they will certainly give a uh, lot of add on signals to this particular site so uh, we have just introduced this um, just faq section but in the from the back end uh, you can uh, have any number of uh, pages i mean it's the default magento functionality so this is pretty pretty much i mean um, a summarized view of the front end let's go into the back end of this uh, this is uh, the default magento back end the the major inclusion over here is this diamond feed now note here that here we are using rapnet diamond feed but it could be idx that is idx diamond feed or um, polygon or or even the custom csv you can import from here uh, now currently there are what we have done is uh, we have introduced this mod module over here but also one alternative module is there which works directly on the server so uh, absolutely no manual intervention is required in that case that i will explain later but let's just check out this particular way now if suppose you want to update your rapnet data okay you are here uh, there are some prerequisites I mean, you need to have your rapnet or idex or poly um, polygon username passwords you need to have an account with them in order to pull the data now here we are pulling the data we just download it what it has done is it has uh, pulled this particular data from uh, rapnet servers it is downloading the csv file and it is downloaded the file on your server now the next step is upload now what it is doing is it's purifying the data uh, uh, in our uh, 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 the, the data insertion script we have developed such algorithms wherein it picks up if there is a uh, impure data for example if the certificate number is uh, by mistake entered into the dimensions so automatic our algorithms will detect that just uh, take out that particular data and insert only the clean usable data so it has done that then it has checked if the diamond is already there if it is there with the same uh, this it will not reinsert it and if the diamond is not there then it will um, it will add that diamond to it and if suppose uh, there is a diamond which is now no longer available in the rapnet then it will delete that particular diamond from your database as it is no longer available neither it's sold through your particular website so that is a redundant diamond so it it has no place in that database it's a um, no longer uh, available thing so that that particular will be deleted um, 
so what it has done is that uh, it has reinserted the data now as per the magento requirement you have to re-index the database so next is go to the index management and uh, from here you have to re-index the data now this entire process also in another module which works in com in the back end on the server is completely automated no manual intervention is required whatsoever uh, it directly it directly works on um, uh, the server through cron job it will download the data it will uh, reinsert the data in uh, at a pre-specified time suppose you you set the cron job at 3 a.m early in the morning uh, when there is a, a very low traffic on your site and within within say one hour it will conduct this entire operation autom in an automated way another thing is uh, of late uh, rapnet has also started giving web services uh, i mean instant web services and uh, instead of this entire process the data also can be pulled through web services um, so this is pretty much i mean it it summarizes the entire back end of the um, magento powered jewelry website uh, this is uh, extensively tested it almost almost works for itself i mean no maintenance is required unless you have any custom features um, only thing what we require is uh, good quality data over here during initial period of uh, building such kind of website is um, the good images and uh, initial data for example the engagement ring data or the ready jewelry data so uh, that's about it so if you'd like to build something like this of this quality uh, let us know drop us an email on connect at transpacific dot in and we will work with you in customizing your website and um, further working with you in in building up the data and creating this this whole uh, uh, well tested responsive website for you uh, that's it thank you very much